Hello everyone, welcome back to Chanda DIY. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a cat ears bucket hat. It is really easy pattern and friendly for beginners. For this bucket hat, I make for size medium, but I also showing you how to make the bucket hat more bigger in this video. Okay, now let's get into the video. So for making this bucket hat, I'm using two strands of yarn. So for the size of this yarn, it's four ply. It's not really thin or really thick. If you guys use thin thread, I recommend you to use two strands of yarn because it helps the bucket hat not thin or soft and it's more faster to make. First thing first, we are going to make a magic circle or magic ring. And next, for row 1, we are going to make half double crochet. To begin, chain 1. Remember, chain 1, we don't count as a stitch. And then make half double crochet into the magic circle. To make half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the circle, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, keep making half the bulk shade into the circle until you got 8 stitches of half the bulk shade. Then I will meet you back again. After you got 8 stitches of half the bulk shade, then we are going to pull the short string of yarn to close the circle. Next, we are going to make slip stitch into the first half the bulk shade stitch. To make slip stitch, continue insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, for row 2, chain 1. Then we are going to make increase by make 2 half double crochet into the same loop near chain 1. You can use stitch marker to mark at this first half the bulk crochet stitch. It is easy to know where to make slip stitch. After you got two half the bulk crochet in the same loop, for the next next stitch, we are going to repeat the same thing by make two half the bulk crochet into each stitch around until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again.
After you reach the end of the row, you must have 16 stitches of half double crochet. Remember for the small loop that near the chain 1, we don't count it as a stitch, so then make half double crochet into that loop. And then we are going to continue make slip stitch into the stitch that we mark. After you have made a slip stitch, and this is what the second row looks like. Next, for row 3, chain 1, then make half double crochet into the stitch near chain 1. After you have made a half double crochet, then we are going to make increase into the next stitch by make two half double crochet in the same loop. After you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make one half double crochet and then make increase into the next stitch. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row, then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, you must end with increasing stitch. And then we are going to make slip stitch into the stitch that we mark, which is the first half double crochet stitch. And this is what the third row looks like. Next, for row 4, chain 1 and make half double crochet into the next 2 stitches. After you got 2 stitches of half double crochet, then we are going to make increase by make 2 half double crochet in the same loop. After you have made increase, then we are going to make half double crochet into the next 2 stitches and then make increase. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row, then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, like I said, you must end with the increasing stitch and then we are going to continue make slip stitch into the first half double crochet stitch. Next, for row 5, chain 1, then make half double crochet into the next 3 stitches. After you got 3 stitches of half double crochet, then we are going to make increase into the stitch that we may increase at the row below.
After you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 3 half double crochet and then increase, 3 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the first half double crochet stitch. Next, for row 6, chain 1 and make half double crochet into the next 4 stitches. After you got 4 stitches of half the bokeh shade, next we are going to make increase. As you can see this row below we may increase. So for the next next row you have may increase into the same loop that we have may increase at the previous row. And after you have may increase, next we are going to repeat the same thing by make 4 half the bokeh shade and then increase. 4 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row then make slip stitch into the first half double crochet stitch After you have made a slip stitch, next for row 7, chain 1 and make half double crochet into the next 5 stitches. After you got 5 stitches of half double crochet, next we are going to make increase into the same loop that we have made increase at the previous row. After you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 5 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row. Then make slip stitch.
After you have made slip stitch, next follow a chain 1 and make half double crochet into the next 6 stitches. After you got 6 half double crochet, then we are going to make increase. And after you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 6 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row. Then make slip stitch. After you have made slip stitch, next for row 9, chain 1 and make half double crochet into the next 7 stitches. After you got 7 stitches of half double crochet, then we are going to make increase. After you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 7 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. After you have made slip stitch, and this is what my top head looks like. For the measurement of my top head, it is equal 6.5 inches length. If you guys want your head more bigger, you can add more rows. 
by add more half double crochet stitch until you reach the increasing stitch then we are going to increase into the same loop that we have made increase at the previous row for the next next row you just adding more half double crochet stitch until you reach the increasing part and then we increase until you reach the end of the row then make slip stitch next we are going to make the side of the head to begin continue from where your last stitch is for row 10 chain 1 and make half double crochet for this row 10 you can make half double crochet into both loop or the back loop only it's up to you for the black bucket head i make half double crochet into both loop keep making half double crochet back loop only into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row then we meet you back again for this row 10, we are not made increase, just make no more half double crochet stitch. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the first half of the book crochet stitch. Next, for row 11 and row 12, chain 1 and make half the book crochet into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. So start from row 11, we are going to make half double crochet into both loop. And after you have made a slip stitch, and now you must have 3 rows. Next, for row 13, chain 1, and make half double crochet into the next 8 stitches. After you got 8 half the bulk of shade, then we are going to make increase. After you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 8 half the bulk of shade and then increase until you reach the end of the row. Then make slip stitch. After you have made slip stitch, next for row 14, chain 1 and make half double crochet into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. So for row 14, just make no more half double crochet, no increase.
After you have made slip stitch, next follow 15 chain 1 and make 9 half double crochet stitches. After you got 9 half double crochet, then we are going to make increase. After you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 9 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row. Then make slip stitch. For row 15 after you have made a slip stitch and next for row 16 until row 18. Just chain 1 and make half double crochet into every stitch around until the end of the row and then make slip stitch. So for my head side, I have 9 rows in total. If you guys want your bucket head more deeper or longer, you can add more rows. By make half double crochet into each stitch, no increase. And for the measurement from row 10 until row 18, it is equal 3 inches length. And for the measurement from my top head until row 18, it is equal 6.5 inches. It's measuring from the top of my head until above my ear. Next, we are going to make the brim. To begin, continue from where your last stitch is for row 19, chain 1, and make half double crochet into the next 4 stitches. After you got 4 half double crochet, then we are going to make increase. After you have made increase, then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 4 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. After you have made slip stitch, next follow 20, chain 1 and make half double crochet into the next 7 stitches. After you got 7 half double crochet, then make increase. And after you have made increase, next we are going to repeat the same thing by make 7 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. After you have made slip stitch at the row 20, Next, for row 21, chain 1 and make half double crochet into every stitch around until the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 21, no increase. 
and then for row 22 chain 1 and make half double crochet into the next 14 stitches and then we are going to increase and next we are going to repeat the same thing by make 14 half double crochet and then increase repeat around until the end of the row then make slip stitch and next for row 23 until row 25 chain 1 and make half double crochet into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row then make slip stitch and after you reach row 25 then chain 1 and cut off the yarn if you guys want your print more longer you can add more rows by make half double crochet into every stitch no increase And this is what my bucket hat looks like. For the measurement from row 19 until row 25, it is equal 3 inches. It's the measurement of my head brim. Next, we are going to make the cat ears. For making the cat ear, I'm using only one strand of yarn and still using the same hook. To begin, make a magic circle. And next, we are going to make the bokeh shade. For row 1, chain 2. For chain 2, we also count as a stitch. And then we are going to make the bokeh shade into the magic circle. To make the bokeh shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the circle, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2. And then yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. Next, keep making the bokeh shade into the magic circle until you got 8 stitches in total. Then I will meet you back again. After you got 8 stitches of the bokeh shade, then we are going to pull the short string of yarn tie to close the circle. And next, make slip stitch into the chain 2 stitch. Next, for row 2, chain 2. Then we are going to make increase into the same stitch with chain 2 by make 3 double crochet in the same loop. After you have made 3 double crochet in the same loop, in total you must have 4 stitches include the chain 2 stitch. And next, we are going to make the bokeh shade into the next 3 stitches. Then I will meet you back again. Mm -hmm. 
after you got 3 double crochet then we are going to make increase by make 4 double crochet in the same loop After you got 4 double crochet in the same loop, next we are going to make the double crochet into each stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, you must have 4 double crochet stitches. Then we are going to make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. Next, for row 3, chain 2, and we are going to make increase into the same stitch with chain 2 by make 3 double crochet in the same loop. After you have made 3 double crochet in the same loop, next we are going to make the double crochet into the next 7 stitches, then we meet you back again. And after you got 7 double crochet, next we are going to make increase by make 4 double crochet in the same loop. After you got 4 double crochet in the same loop, Next, we are going to make the double crochet into the next 7 stitches, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. After you have made slip stitch, next for row 4, chain 2 and make increase into the same stitch with chain 2 by make 3 double crochet in the same loop. After you have made increase, then we are going to make the double crochet into the next 9 stitches, then I will meet you back again. And after you got 9 double crochet, then we are going to make increase by make 4 double crochet in the same loop.
and after you have made increase, next we are going to make the bow crochet into the next 9 stitches. After you got 9 double crochet, then we are going to make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. And next, chain 1 and leave a long tail of yarn it keep for sewing, then cut it off. And this is what the cat ear looks like. Please repeat the same thing to the other side. Next, we are going to sew the cat ear into the bucket head. Please try the head first to see where you want to place the cat ear. For sewing the cat ear, you have to insert the needle into both sides of the stitch and then continue attach it into the head. So for this black bucket head, I use only one strand of yarn, so the stitches is a little bit smaller and the bucket head is so soft. That's why I recommend you to use two strands of yarn. It's more harder and more faster to make. Okay, now the cat ears bucket head is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.